Good morning, everybody. It's finally here. Ten weeks of grueling training has all led to this moment. It's Sunday, the 2nd of October 2022, and Marathon Day is here. It is currently, whatever the time is in the morning, it's about quarter to eight, I think. Um, we're leaving in half an hour. All my kit is laid out on the bed. The 84 shorts in recognition of my granddad. I won't be taking the shirt with me, Grey, I'll have that with him. Uh, obviously my number, my vest. Pants that I'm going to put over the top of my kit when we're travelling up to the start line. Yeah. Everything's pretty much there. Feeling good, feeling okay. Not really feeling too nervous. Thing is, I know I can do it. It's, it's, it's just going to be a memorable experience um, and one that I'm going to have an absolute blast doing. Um... So I'm just going to finish getting ready here, and I'll see you when we're on the road. Okay, so we're out, we're on the move, and we're heading to Clockhouse Railway Station. We're getting the train to Lewisham, and then from there we will change onto a train to Blackheath, which is my start station. So, uh, do you know what? I am so ready for this. Like, like I'm just feeling very athlete this morning. It's like Sanka says in the film Cool Runnings, I am feeling very Olympic today. Well, I'm feeling very athlete today, because I've got, I've got the official jacket on. I've got a pair of pants that resemble sort of training pants. They're actually, actually pressed in North End jogging pants from years ago. Um, but they've got zips in, in the legs, which is handy for getting on and off over trainers. So I thought, perfect. And I've also got on the Everton 84 shorts that I said I was going to wear for this event from the start. So he's obviously the 84 representing my granddad. And he was an Everton fan, so yeah. Anyway, I need to, I'm going to uh, try and conserve battery on here so that... Uh, Graham and Sophia and Lawrence have plenty to work with, so uh, I'll probably just check in once more before the uh, actual event, and uh, yeah, it's go time. Okay, so I made it to Blackheath, and uh, this is just a view of all the crowds. It's absolutely crazy. So many people. Uh, we actually got on a couple of trains earlier than we intended on, because um, when we saw how full the trains were, we figured it was probably best to get here. Um, and then we could just kind of take our time. Sophia's like three trains behind us, um, so we're going to try and we're going to see if we can wait for her. Um, but we may have to go off ahead. Um, yeah, so we made it to Blackheath, which is the start station. So we're just going to walk to the start point now, and then that'll be uh, all set. Joined us now, so we've got the whole crew. We've got the whole crew. And this is the scene going up to the start area. It's what the crazy. Because Just crowds and crowds of people. So technically, I think I'm supposed to be there at 9.43. It's not like 9.45, but there's that, there's, the trains have been that delayed with people getting on and off them. It's, it won't make any difference. I just have to find my start wave. I'll, I'll ask someone when I get up there. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a great day, great event. I am ready. Right, okay then, this is, this is it. This is the uh, assembly area here, and it's runners only, so this is where I say goodbye to the camera and to Gray and Sophia. Lawrence is somewhere on his way to, he's, he's almost at Paddington, so he'll be joining the crew. Um, they'll, uh, I'm leaving the, the camera in very capable hands between the three of them, they will get excellent footage. It's been a journey, and this is it. What's the game of this strong, really? Enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> 
outside. Right. Just going to start recording yeah, because I'm just, I'm just... Your monthly card. It depends. It depends how much you 
There's the oh, post there's box. The post box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the post box is running along. Okay, any second now. Come on now, Anita. Any second now. Wait for me. Anita! Ah, Anita! It's Auntie Shell! Come on! Go on! Straight into the finish. Great, up we go. What's up? Anita! Anita! Yeah! You're so close! Keep going! Go on! You can make it! Do it for granddad! Oh, you've made it! For granddad! For granddad! Oh, you've done it. How was it? I nearly passed out at the halfway mark. Oh. Um, well, I'm surprised the speed you did it. I, I don't know how I did that. I, I really don't know how I did that. Yeah. I think I was just getting carried along. I think with the atmosphere on Tower Bridge, I think I forgot to breathe. <laughs> um, and then I just kind of started to feel like everything was spinning. I was like, okay, deep breaths, take some water, get some jelly beans and stuff. And then I just, I managed to get it um, under control. It nearly happened once more, probably about seven miles later. Mm. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't ask me how I started sprinting at the end. <laughs> <laughs> And then stayed over a Saturday, and now is being in London with her sister, etc. So I'm presuming that if there's a possibility, I could just hop in and then head back. Oh. Strike it. Struggling. So that you can put them in. Yeah. the train home now. Well, I say home back to the travel lodge. Um, it's like we're not train with football fans. It's, it's going wild. It's fun. Well, what, what can I say? You know, that was one of the best experiences of my life. I mean, sure, I was in quite a lot of pain by the end, but somehow I still managed to find the strength to dig deep for a sprint finish. I don't know, it's like I saw the 400 metres to go sign and I just it just gave me a, a new lease of life. And then to see Graham and Sophie and Lawrence, like, probably about with two, probably less than 200 metres to go, it just, that was all I needed to just kick me on and, and get over the line. Um, I didn't actually get any pictures uh, when I crossed the line. However, um, I've been told by my mum that um, the BBC... BBC coverage, even though the actual coverage finished at like half two, half three, whatever time it finished, uh, apparently they left it on on the iPlayer um, to get everybody crossing the line. So if I go back on the footage, I should be able to find myself crossing the line. I will take a quick clip of that. I'll take a quick screen recording. I'll, I'll get it up on the computer, take a screen recording, um, and I'll stick it on um, the vlog um, so you can kind of see it. So I've got it as a memento, but my goodness me, what? What an event, like, 
I, 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 it, it's still not fully sunk in that I actually did it, that that I actually earned this. Like, I just, I think it's going to take a little while to sink in. And, I mean, this vlog's probably not going to be up on the channel for a few days because with me being so busy with work and obviously the longer training sessions as we got closer to the event, I didn't have time to catch up on uploading all the previous vlogs. So I'm going to have to spend the next few days just editing, uploading, editing, uploading until the full story is complete. But I do intend to have everything up by Friday so that within sort of five days of me finishing the event, my full story is, is on the channel. So if you're watching this on Friday, that's whatever date Friday is, the something, maybe 7th or something, then I obviously succeeded in getting everything up. But this has just been one of the best experiences of my life and I I, 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 can't, I can't really put into words what it means and actually it's not fully sunk in yet and yeah just completely incredible anyway it is quite late now it is um, half past ten and I do have somewhere to be in the morning. Um, I've got to pop over to the RD headquarters. Um, I've got a meeting. Um, so I probably need to think about getting some sleep. Um, I'm going to have a quick shower. I'll, I'll have another shower in the morning, but I just need a quick one now just to freshen up. And then I'll head to bed, try and get some decent sleep, which shouldn't be too difficult. Although saying that, the pain in my knees, every time I turn over, I'm going to be in quite a bit of pain, I think. So... It might not be the best night's sleep, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, my Just Giving page is going to be open until the end of the month for Dementia UK. So if you would like to do a post-race donation, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you would like to follow me on socials, you can do so on Twitter and Instagram at This Is Neats. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.